Welcome back to the channel squad. Today we are looking at a flashlight that is more like a grenade launcher that uses the power of the sun. This is the Monstrum Raider X2 and this is the Raider X1 which is more like a vert grip. So we're going to talk about these flashlights here in a sec. These are 2000 lumen rechargeable flashlights made out of aluminum. The build quality on these are absolutely amazing. Like I, I really feel like I could just throw this thing or drop it and you're not going to have any issues. Like I said, it's about 2000 lumens. Uh, yeah, pretty ridiculous. Let's talk about it. So first thing we're gonna do is talk about the modes on both of these and then unbox what's in the packaging, then go outside and see how far we can throw some light with these bad boys, maybe even throw it on one of our rifles. So first of all, the power button is right here on the left side. So if you're right-handed, you're gonna be able to hit that no problem. First mode, we hit the button and you're rocking 2000 lumens right there. So we're throwing the full power of the sun. Just kidding. Second mode, we hit that button again and we're gonna go down to 600 lumens. So this is like a power saver mode here. Really nice and then click it again and it shuts off. Same with the vert grip, 2600. So you've got an extended battery life. Battery on this is rechargeable. It does come with a, a charger, a charging cable to charge that. And then there's an indicator light that is right here that will tell you when the unit is fully charged, which I think is really nice. So it does have a strobe feature when it's turned on. Press and hold the button for about three to four seconds and it will go into a strobe mode, which we then turn it off like that. So that's cool. You do have a strobe function with this bad boy. So both of the flashlights will run in the 2000 lumen mode for about three minutes and then step down to 1200 lumens and then after that 900 lumens. And it just continues to drop down to you sit about at that uh, 300 lumen mark. So it does that just to save on battery, which is a really nice feature. If you want to pause that right there, there's the dynamic step down in high mode. You can see it right there. That's what I was talking about to save on battery life. And it'll run in 300 lumens until the battery runs out. So that is really, really cool. So in the packaging, we'll take a look right here. And this is from the Raider X2. We have M-Lock rail. So we're gonna get a section of pick rail for M-Lock. So if you do have a gun that needs some rail, you have the ability to just throw this M-Lock rail directly on and you are good to go. Comes with the accessories. So for about that 60 to $70 range, you're getting one of these flashlights right here with a section of rail, flashlight and charging cable. Here is the charging cable that comes with it. I just use this to charge it. And actually I will plug this in so you guys can see what goes on here with that LED indicator light. All right, so I've got it plugged in right now, just charging off of the PC. There is a red light. It will turn blue when it is fully charged. Really comfortable angle grip. Uh, hit the button, no problem right there. Cycle through the modes. Very nice fit and finish. These, I, I just can't get over how nice these feel. It's just, it's so nice. Actually, I'm gonna go through this on the HK416 just to see how it looks. It is charged up. And in the packaging, you are going to get the exact same stuff. So you will get your charge cable. You will get your hardware kit to mount to M-Lock. So if you do have a, a weapons platform that has M-Lock on it, you'll be able to do that. All right, there it is mounted up on the rifle. Looks really solid on there. Feels great too. Easy access for all intents and purposes. That is perfect. Actually, this Saturday I've got a night game coming up. So I am kind of stoked about testing this on both the both the rifles. So we'll see how everything works. Nothing like blasting someone with the old sun grenade launcher. We'll see how that goes. So the only gripe I have with this light in and of itself for the X1 and the X2 is the fact that the pressure switch only cycles through the light modes. You can't just press it, hold in for a few seconds and check a corner or something like that and let go and it shuts off. So you have to just be do your due diligence and cycle through the light modes when you're checking corners or doing anything like that. So it's on, low mode, off. So yeah, just takes a little bit of work, a little bit of getting used to it. It's something that me personally, I can definitely work through and just work on that muscle memory. But obviously my other flashlights are built a little bit differently or designed a little bit differently. So uh, keep that in mind. But build quality, top notch, rechargeable battery, top notch, 2000 lumens, top notch, battery saver mode. I mean, this is really awesome. I, and the foregrip, it's just integrated into the, the foregrip. So it's, it's not taking up anything, any other space. You just have your flashlight right there, everything built in and you're good to go. So I can't wait to test this. All right, so we'll test the light right here. So the pavilion's about 75 yards away and we don't have a problem lighting up the pavilion at all. About a hundred yards, well, a little past a hundred yards to the fence line out there. You can see that light or the sign is lighting up over there. 
So that's doing a half decent job. I could see anybody moving around over there. The pavilion, no problem at 75 yards. Um, that's awesome. Even in the low setting at 600 lumens, not having a problem seeing that far. So we do have a little bit of uh, light coming from the light poles and stuff out here, but still no problem. So that's, that's pretty decent. Honestly, at 600 lumens, it's still throwing a pretty good beam. I really like that it's not too aggressive. We'll shut it off real quick. I'm gonna go uh, 2000 right there. Lights everything up nicely. I mean, it is, I would not wanna be on the receiving end of that. We're gonna wrap the video up right here. I'm gonna hit it on strobe for you guys just so everyone can see it, see how it strobes. That's not bad, that's aggressive. Yeah, I would not wanna be on the receiving end of that, but there you go. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments sections. You, you can grab these on uh, Monstrum's website or on Amazon. I'll put the links down there. There's 600. Not bad. I really like this. Can't wait to run it.